I don't think people understand how simple hashing really is. Hi, I am Pankaj Sharma, your guide for today. Hey, welcome. Today, I am breaking down one of those tech terms you hear all the time, hashing. Now, don't let the word scare you. Hashing is actually pretty simple once you get the, the hang of it. So what is hashing? Imagine you have a super long word or even a whole file, but you want to turn it into a short fixed length code, kind of like making a nickname out of a long name. That's what hashing does. It takes any amount of data and transforms it into a unique string of numbers and letters called a hash. Let's use an example. Say you type apple into a hashing tool. The tool crunches the letters and spits out something like 13D870BE. If you change just one letter, maybe to apples, the hash will be completely different. That's the magic. Small changes in your input mean big changes in the hash. There are actually different types of hashes, each with its own strengths. MD5 is one of the oldest and was once popular for checking file integrity, but it's not very secure anymore. SHA-1 is a bit stronger, but it also has weaknesses and isn't recommended for security. SHA-256 is much more secure and is widely used today for things like blockchain and password protection. Each type creates a different length and style of hash and they're chosen based on how much security is needed. So why is this useful? Well, hashes are everywhere in tech. They're used to store passwords securely, check if files have been tampered with, and even speed up database searches. It's like giving every piece of data its own fingerprint. But remember, hashing doesn't work like a secret code. You can't turn a hash back into the original info. It only works one way. Bottom line? Hashing is a clever way to create digital fingerprints for any data, keeping things secure and organized behind the scenes. Now you know. Next time you hear hashing, you'll be the one explaining it. Thanks for watching.